Hello friends, welcome to the Cloudwick YouTube channel. My name is Manoj and today we will learn how to install Exchange Server 2019 step by step. So we are going to install Exchange Server 2019 in Windows Server 2022. Actually we have created a virtual machine that is running on Windows Server 2022. So if you need to create Azure virtual machine so you can check out this link in this blog i will share this blog link in the description or you can watch the video on the same by clicking on the i button for creating azure virtual machine you need to have active azure subscription so you can purchase that from the microsoft or you can easily install windows server 2022 on your system so these are requirements for exchange server 2019 for network and directory server we need to have active directory for us that is running on windows server 2012 r2 or later a dns name space an active directory site which should have writable domain controller and ipv6 or ipv4 and a domain controller that is running on Windows Server 2022, 19, 16 or 2012 standard. So these are some hardware requirement. Processor should be of 64 bit and memory is required minimum 128 GB for mailbox and 64 GB for edge transport. And you should have also disk space of minimum 30 GB. And for the operating system, the management tools you need to have windows server 2016 19 or 22 standard or data center or window 10 64 bit for mailbox and s transport you need to have windows server 2016 19 22 standard or data center so first we need to install active directory domain services dns server and we need to create a new domain forest so let's see how to do it first we will need to go to the server manager you can see the server manager here we need to click on add roles and features so these are some requirements like uh, you should have a strong password static ip address or windows updates are installed so we will click on the next so in the installation type we need to choose role based or feature based installation so choose this and now we need to click on the next button here you need to select your server so we will select this server and here we need to choose active directory domain services now click on the add features once this is selected we need to click on the next here we will select dot network frame 4.8 features and leave other things as it is and now click on the next button here simply click on the next button here choose the option restart server automatically if, if required now click on the install button as you can see the installation has been started as you can see configuration required installation succeeded on pc4 so you can click on the promote this server to a domain controller or you can close this window and you can choose the notification and here you can see the option for promote this server to a domain controller so click on this option here we need to add a new forest here we are choosing the local domain you can also choose your own domain name once you have typed your domain name we need to click on the next button so in the forest function level select windows server 2016 and in the domain function level 
also select windows server 2016 leave other things as it is and provide your password here so once you have provided your password click on the next button in the dns option leave this option as it is and click on the next button the net bios domain name is automatically assigned you can change if required otherwise leave it as it is and click on the next button so here is the path for database folder and it is for the log file folder and it is for the sys volume folder so you can change the path or you can leave them as it is and click on the next button so you can review your options here our new domain name is this one and the net bios name of the domain is this now click on the next button it is verifying prerequisites for domain controller operation and you can see all prerequisites check pass successfully now we can click on the install button these are some warnings that we can neglect so click on the install button here so it will take some time in installation for all the things that we have selected now the pc is going to restart we can close this button now you can see the server manager has been opened and you can see here the active directory domain services has been installed dns services has been installed also so we will proceed with the further installation or configuration in the next part of the video so thank you guys for watching the complete video if you have any queries regarding this you can ask us in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe our channel also follow us on other social media platform social media links are in the description